Welcome back to MVM. Today we have brought Kevin from Game Toppers here to introduce the new Kickstarter for 2019. If you aren't aware, Game Toppers is the portable solution and also the permanent solution for tables in your home. Now, a lot of us have kitchen tables that we play yep. games on, and you came up with the perfect solution for not having to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to get a game table. Some people simply don't have the space. Now you have one that can fit together and fit right there on your table. Yeah, you know, and I, I, I have a dedicated table like a lot of people. That was kind of our holy grail, right? My dad built it. I designed it. Love that play experience. But I thought, how do I make this? My daughters live about an hour away from us, and we game every week with them. I thought, how do I make a portable version that we could have this experience? So the whole dream of this thing really came from just how do we have fun playing games. Right. Then once I started developing the acumen and of business and, and the entrepreneurial spirit that yeah. I have kicked in and it was like boy this is kind of cool I think people would like it now how do we make it manufacturable so it's affordable if it was custom wood crafted I'd be very expensive toppers as well and love those dedicated tables right but how do you make it portable and how do you make it fully functional well it's super excited because now all these consumers have it in their homes but also when you go to conventions yep. they're everywhere and they just make the experience so much nicer Oh, I'm so grateful. I could not be more <laughs> pleased with, you know, we have some of the top respected companies in the industry, Cool Mini or not, Arcane Wonders, um, Academy Games, AEG is doing a big thing with us, Renegade Game Studios, and I could list all of these quality companies, Gray Fox Games and so forth that have been so kind to purchase these toppers. Um, and the conventions, right? Um, yeah. BGG Con bought 30 of Scott Alden. What a what a blessing to have that exposure in the hot games. People get to play these new games in style, and people just the gaming experience is so upgraded. Yeah, Absolutely, it's, it's safe to say if you've played a game at a convention. You've probably played it on one of his toppers, right? <laughs> and they've been performing so brilliantly, and people say, they're, they're everywhere. <laughs> and not just the toppers, but also the game mats. Yeah. And briefly, before we get into what's new this year, we walked around Origins this year, and Origins has been a mecca for unfolding tables everywhere. You've supplied them now with gaming mats. And when you look in that board game area, it's just a sea of your mats, and they all are uniform. Yeah. It presents the table really nice. Cards are sliding around. Well, those tables can experience. get pretty. Yeah, they can get pretty gnarly over oh, the years. Awful, right? Right? It's it's nice to go there and have an experience where you're not getting splinters or anything like that. You got right. that nice mat out there. Yeah, right? we were thrilled to partner with Origins. We met with the new director John Stacy, and we worked out an arrangement to do a three-year sponsorship, where we could. We knew that was a problem. That board game library yeah, yeah. had had poor table, and it's not really their fault. No, no but. They knew they needed to help, and I had this idea that how do we upgrade that gaming experience affordably, and the mats were, we went to the design team and we, we developed those mats for them, but we also did an upgraded play area for the Origins nominated awards. Yeah. And so they're played on game toppers, and that's gonna be expanded over the next couple years. That's so cool. That's yeah. so, so let's talk about 2019 and your new one. Let's talk about the tables first, because you're introducing some new tables to the mix this time. Right, and what was so wonderful, when we, the first Kickstarter, um, we over doubled our late pledges from our Kickstarter, wow. which is really unheard of, right? I mean, I'm so grateful because we've totally sold out. We successfully delivered over 1,400 packages that we've delivered. Those things are That's huge just from and your heavy first too. campaign? Yeah, just from the first oh. campaign. And so uh, it's so rewarding seeing the backers at these shows. They oh, come yeah. and thank me profusely, and I'm like, That's awesome. No, thank you. And, <laughs> and I love these people, and they're, you know, they, they, the community has been crazy. It's so, so encouraging, you know. Right. Um, but we wanted to say, How do we get better? And a couple of the things is we wanted to make some new sizes that would fit different kinds of tables. So we're introducing the new Moriarty. Okay. Uh, this is a cool topper. It's 48 inches by 48 inch square. It's a big table. Oh, yeah. so a square. It's a square, okay. but you can put it on a round table. And a lot of people are owning now these counter height pub tables. Yep. So this is perfect for that, but we've made an innovation on our current Mycroft topper, which is a four foot by six foot topper. So that's the big miniatures, Warhammer, big footprint table. Um, with the Moriarty being 24 inch halves, and this is the great thing about our toppers. You literally put one half of the topper on the table, you add the other half to match it, you connect this little connector cleat in our military grade aluminum rail, 
it's locked in, you're ready to game. Well, we can add a 24 inch leaf right to that center of that now to make the yeah. Mycroft. Right. But the wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> we can actually add two leaves so you can make a Mycroft XL. Okay. So you can actually extend it to eight feet so people who have ping pong tables, pool tables, or just a sheet oh, of plywood. Man. Or if they just want to play a game of memoir. With Boom. Eight against <laughs> big, eight. You big got overlord right. battle or wings of war. Right. I mean, epic stuff. That's awesome. And people have been clamoring for that, actually. And, and then I knew right away what was going to happen. People are going to go, well, I have a Holmes topper that I bought on your first Kickstarter. Or I have a Watson. Can we extend that? Well, right. I went to my manufacturer. I said, I know I'm going to get this. Is there any reason why we can't offer that? Right. So besides the two new tables, you also have some leaf things or some accessories on the outside. Yeah, the railings. Let's talk about the railings. Correct. Well, our, our rail is made out of military grade aluminum. It's the highest quality. I know people say military grade, but what that really means is it's a T6 temper. This is a very hard temper, but it allows you to maintain really high quality tolerances. And that particular temper is the most expensive that I can buy that isn't aircraft quality, which is crazy expensive. So <laughs> my biggest expense is aluminum, but I wanted to do that for those reasons. So we have a system where our cup holders, they fit in anywhere along this rail. Mm -hmm. And you, can, you have two player game, you put them where you want. They're not fixed features that you have with a lot of dedicated tables. So yeah. there's some functionality that's really cool. Um, but one of the things we also have is a lot of dice towers. We have uh, on this new Kickstarter, we're going to be doing a collapsible cup holder that actually collapses up so it's easy to store. But we've designed it in a way that it holds your cup hold, your pop and that kind of thing. But it also can do larger cups, mugs, big water bottles and it can function as a chit tray, a component tray when it's collapsed up. So if people just want to use it to hold their bits, hmm. we can use it for that. Walker Grand Origins, I also looked at the railings. You have some etched wood railings that go around the outside now. What are those? <laughs> this is crazy exciting. Um, you have we, a partnership, right, with someone? To exactly. Do yeah. It's with uh, Dogmite Games. I love these guys. They've been one of my best vendors and they do a fantastic job. Well, I gave them a topper last year for their show kit. Well, they got so excited, they tore out my oak rails, because some of our toppers, can you can have wood inlay. Well, they got so excited, they tore it out and they put leopard wood in it. And when we saw that thing, it was like, woohoo, this, this is going a whole nother notch. All right. Well, we got talking, we thought, what if we did some thematic product? So we've developed a Viking sculpt in the wood and it is so gorgeous. When you see these pictures of this Viking sculpt, it just immerses you in that environment. Sure. And then we have a dragon sculpt and it's with their demon blood red stain. It's about the color of your shirt almost. Yeah. Demon blood. Yeah, demon blood. <laughs> and David demon blood. <laughs> and it, it's, it's just gorgeous and it's gonna be very limited edition because okay. of capacity, but we're gonna offer those in two models and it, there's only gonna be about 40 of them total, but. So limited during the campaign. During oh, the campaign. Wow. It's not exclusive, we may be able to produce more in the future, but because of capacity, uh, we're going to offer that right now as just some super fun stuff. You know, one of the things I like about all the railings, even including the aluminum, uh, it's a really high quality aluminum. You know, some people oh, hear absolutely. aluminum and think, oh, I'll probably want the oak inlay or anything. I actually really like that finish on the aluminum. And, and it's, the powder coated black. Yeah, the yeah. powder coated black. It's a really nice finish, particularly if some people don't like wood, you know. So you have all those options. It's really nice. Well, that's a good point. We were talking about driving here, actually. You know, what did people like best? The luxuriant oak, the premium walnut, the Viking rail, the, the standard. And uh -huh. it, there's just a whole mix of taste exactly. out there. So yeah. it's wonderful to give the public the option yeah, of what they want. And it's nice that you're in the position now where you can offer a variety of different things for people. And a lot of our packages on our Kickstarter, we have built that in that you can get these inclusive bundles that, that are giving you a storage bag. They're giving you a bunch of cup holders. They're giving you two mats. You're going to get the mat storage bags. This is thing that everybody uh, people love our thematic game mats yeah let's yeah, talk the, about the thematic exactly game mats. the mats are definitely 
those are bigger than what you probably anticipated it at first, right? It's amazing. I mean, people have purchased six, seven mats, and then people are saying, what do we do with our mats? <laughs> and, right. and the thing that we've done that's a little bit unique uh, with our mats is first off, we went to really high quality. I like to do things right the first time. And so we went to a three millimeter stitched edge. So you pick up your cards, I mean, it's so easy to play on these things. The finish is beautiful. The printing is high resolution. Uh, so we've really went an extra level with our art assets. I really believe in that. We hired Andreas Zifferatus, who did Majors and Netrunner, to do our dungeon mat with this beautiful one inch square cobblestone and dragon skeleton. We have the adventure mat, which looks like Lord of the Rings, yeah. Middle Earth, and it's mm -hmm. our number one seller. The space mat for these epic space battles, the castle mat, we have the green, and then we have some plain ones for those that just like it more neutral with red and blue. But we're gonna be offering a brand new steel gray. Super mm. classy oh, nice. looking. Yeah, just another notch and option. But we went, and there, there's an artist, his name is Jaroslav Radecki, and he's from Poland. He did the new art for uh, Reavers of Midgard from Gray Fox Games. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to do is create environments. So we keep the art assets around the edge of the mat, so the center of the mat's more neutral, so sure. you don't lose your game pieces in, in right. the art. Right. A lot of times you get these beautiful mats, but the art is so busy, it's hard to play the game. Well, we tried to fix that but still create an experience. So we did the Viking mat with Yaroslav. Shane gave me permission to do that, and he's been a dream to work with. This Viking mat. It's beautiful, we saw it at, at <coughs> Origins. It's, it's amazing. And it can go nicely with that railing you were talking yeah. about. Boom. <laughs> I have a, I have a love-hate relationship with mats. I love collecting them, and I love when Kickstarters offer them, but also they just are hard to store. Yeah, so right. I already know the answer. But the answer to people here, <laughs> you have a solution for this because we need a solution for all these play mats we have everywhere. It, it's, it's so fun um, because it, I, I have a Game Topper Nation Facebook group and it's almost like my brain trust. So right. we're able to, what, what do you want? What do you need? What do you think yeah. about this? Or I have a question, say, would you like this? Or do, what do you think about this? And so we're getting feedback. And this was one of the biggest things that people were requesting. What do I do with these mats? Because yeah. we want them all. And so, so went to the drawing board, talked to our design team. I drew up a few things and we make, are going to be making first these beautiful storage bags. So they're round, the bags, the mats fit perfectly in oh, the double nice. zipper bag. There's a clear plastic window, vinyl window, so you can see which mat it is. You think of everything. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> it has, a, has an end uh, holder so you can hang them and it has a nice shoulder strap so they're portable. Nice. But then going another step, like um, I have an old quilt rack at home. And I, so yeah, you, yeah, and I started about. thinking about, because mm -hmm. I've got a ton of mats from, mm -hmm. that aren't sure. mine, you know, that I bought right. before. I thought, so how do we do this? So we made this rack that actually has six holes. This is our biggest one. We're thinking about calling it the Lord Burkton. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> from the video series that yeah, we've yeah, been yeah. doing here. And this is shaped like a meeple. Uh, so it's kind of cool, has six holes so all of your mats can be vertically stored. And then there's two rods that go across and there you can drape your smaller mats. And then we're making a smaller version that has four holes and you can even hang it from your closet or on a wall. Wow. And then we have a little one, this is fun, from our friends at Rolling Dice and Taking Names. Okay. I was talking to Marty about this. And I love Marty, I love these guys. And he says, yeah, but I need a little one. He said, I've got like 20 of those little magic play mats. Yeah. And oh. I said, oh, duh, that's easy. So I went and told him about it. We made a small one and it actually has five holes uh, in two rows. So we have 10 mats and it's more of a little desktop version you can grab. It's got two little hand holds you can grab. Them. They're gonna be real affordable. And we're gonna call that one, first time you've ever heard it, right oh here. Boy. The Cornelson. The Cornelson. All right. All right. <laughs> the Connelson. The Connelson. All right. Get awesome. it wrong for sure. He'll yeah. appreciate that. It's going to be awesome. Well, we are incredibly excited that yeah. Game Toppers is reaching uh, more of a mass market than just the typical board game hobbyist. We're excited to see your stuff everywhere in the conventions. We're seeing it even in retail. We have local retailers yeah. that are ha 
the offer your product and show it within the stores and people are playing on your tables everywhere. You're so even seeing it on our channel. You were seeing it on our channel. That's a, that's in fact true on MVM Live. Yeah. Uh, every every Wednesday we have your product sitting right there that we play on and it's a marvelous experience because we don't have another studio outside of what you're sitting in right here. Yeah. So we can take that thing apart, set it up and fold it right back up to use our area in a functional space. So love what you guys are doing. Best of luck with this new Kickstarter. Absolutely. I'm sure it'll do really well. If you guys have any questions, make sure you guys ask in the comments below. Subscribe to us, follow us on Twitter. Make sure you check out their Kickstarter for everything, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye-bye. Sounds great. Thank you.